Hello Georgia, I'm Liza Miller and this is your weekly update from Voter GA. As a quick update, on July 13th, Voter GA held a press conference to announce it had analyzed recently released ballot images and found massive errors and falsified tally sheets in the Fulton County audit conducted in November 2020. The following week, Voter GA issued a press release to formalize its call for a statewide audit stating that other counties have similar audit discrepancies as those found in Fulton County. Last week, Voter GA initiated an effort to acquire ballot images from other counties and to perform a similar review. However, some of those counties have declined to provide Voter GA with those images, grouped by the batches as reported to the Secretary of State's office. Voter GA will seek to obtain these images in the correct groupings in accordance with its commitment to protect the legal vote of all Georgians. As an update, court assigned individual defendants in the ballot inspection case still have a few more days to respond to being served. Some appear to be cooperative and want to know the truth about whether or not counterfeit ballots were introduced into the election results. Voter GA issued a motion to resume discovery on that basis, and once the time period to respond expires in about two weeks, discovery is likely to move forward. A hearing or decision from the court to move forward is expected by the end of August. Finally, mark your calendars for a live stream benefit concert scheduled for August 15th from 6 to 10 p.m. in Alpharetta. Local award-winning artist Aviva and the Flying Penguins will be performing, and that will include the election integrity song Aviva performed before the Senate Ethics Committee hearing in the last session. The concert is intended as a thank you to voter GA donors and volunteers, as well as a fundraiser to support future litigation initiatives. More details on our news, events, and press releases can be found at VoterGA.org. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.